Drag and drop is an intuitive way to upload files from your computer. So let's see how we can easily implement this into our React application with React Drop Zone. The traditional way to select files in websites is using the file picker input. So for example, in my application, I have this input to the type of file. So this is the file input. And when you click on it, you can navigate through your device to select a file and then you can press open. Now, while this works, often you have a file readily available where instead of navigating through your file system, you have the file you want and you can easily drag it and drop it into the web application. To achieve something like this, you can use the browser's drag and drop API to handle drag and drop interactions. But there are some libraries like React Drop Zone that makes it so much easier to implement such interactions. And that is what we're going to be using in this tutorial. So you have a React application running, then you can install react drop zone when you have the package installed then you can import use drop zone from react drop zone and let's say a simple example of the use drop zone in you so here i use use drop zone and i pass the on drop callback function this is the callback function and i'm not doing anything here yet then i destructure some properties and methods from the return values down here i have this div where i spread the root props and then i have this input where i spread the input props and this accepted files holds an array of all the selected files let's say we are only interested in the first selected file and then i console log it so i have this image then i drag it here you can see i now have the selected file here but then let's do more with this example so here i keep states for the data url and in this on drop callback function i can loop through all the accepted files in our case it's just going to be one and using the file reader api i can listen to the onload event and then i can set the data url state with the data url of the file selected coming down here i can check if the data url state is not null then i can display a preview of the selected image i have some action buttons for uploading and canceling which i'm going to come to in a second and then here i can check if the drag is active which means i'm currently dragging on the container or on the drop zone then i'm going to display this svg i'll show you that in a second but if i am not currently dragging i have this drop your files here or click to browse so currently i'm not dragging and i have this but then let's say i have this image i drag and then i come here you can see that as drag is active on the drop zone i can put that svg there but if it's not active we don't have anything there and now i can drop this remember again that i'm able to get the data url of the file and i can save the data url and then i can display the data url on this image so here we have a preview i can cancel and drag another file here. So now I have a simple drag and preview example with React Drop Zone. But then if you need somewhere to upload this image, then you can use Cloudinary for that. There are various ways you can go about this. For example, you have the Node.js SDK. So you have an API endpoint which your front-end application sends the file to, and you can use this to upload to Cloudinary. If you're using Next.js, for example, you have the CLD upload widget, which makes this easier for you in your Next.js app, or for a framework agnostic approach, you can check out the video above a link will also be in the video description but for this tutorial we'll be using the cloudinary upload endpoint to use this endpoint you need your api key which you can find on your cloudinary dashboard and then you can save it in a dot m file in your react application also you need to define your upload presets i'll be registering this preset as unsigned for testing purposes but you would need to use sign upload presets in production for security so here in this upload image function i have my form data then i add the file i also append the upload preset field and here i have my unsigned preset and then you have the api key and here i am using the api key which i have in my environment variable and then i can make a post request with the form data to the api on my account name i get the url from the response so i can also update my uploaded url state with that response so i'm keeping a state for this here uploaded url and when i get the uploaded url down here i can also display that i have the image i drag 
I come here and I drop, then I can either cancel or I can upload. When I upload, this gets uploaded to Cloudinary. And now I have the public URL for the image here. And this is the image hosted on Cloudinary. And so we have now seen how you can use React Drop Zone for the drag and drop and the Cloudinary API for uploading and hosting our image. Next up, let's see how to create a dynamic image gallery in a React application.